हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ ब्रेक सिस्टम्स मैकेनिकल ब्रेक्स देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ मैकेनिकल ब्रेक्स ड्रम ब्रेक्स एंड डिस्क ब्रेक्स नाउ वी सी हियर द ब्रेक ब्रेक शू डायग्राम ड्रम ब्रेक हैज मेटल ब्रेक ड्रम दैट एनक्लोजेस द ब्रेक असेंबली एट ईच व्हील टू कव ब्रेक शूज here two cow brake shoes are there expand outward and slow down or stop the motion of the wheel and in that sense the brakes are applied to the wheel now we will learn about the working of the drum brakes drum brakes shoes presses against the rotating surface in this system it is called as a drum in last diagram we have seen about the drum drum brake also has an adjustment mechanism emergency brake system and the lots of springs the shoes are pulled away from the drum by the springs when the brakes are released this is the adjustment mechanism shown here an emergency brake system is also there and the pistons and the springs are shown here what is the adjustment mechanism adjustment mechanism when the shoes are pressed against the drum then we have to return back the shoes to the its original position for that purpose the adjustment mechanism is used here it will be return a spring this is the main important part if they get to away from the shoes or the drum the piston will require more fluid to travel the distance and the brake pedal will sink closer floor than we apply the brakes that is why the most drum brakes are automatic adjusters are there next type is disc brakes in this brake the fluid of the master cylinder is forced into the cylinder where it presses the pistons against the drums the piston in turn squeezes the two brake pads against the disc which is attached to the wheel and forcing it to slow or stop now how disc brakes are work here we can see the in diagram portion that main one is hub portion is there there will be one rotor installed on the wheel brake pads will be attached on the both hand side of the wheel caliper will be there and the one piston will be there when brake parallel is pressed press the hydraulic fluid from the master cylinder will press the piston and in this case the brake calipers will be actuated and the two pads will be connected to rotor part and in this case the wheel hub will slow down or it will completely stop two major barking systems are used in automobile brakes and disc brakes same disc brakes will be used in four wheelers also and two wheelers also the same principle will be there for the disc brakes but in a disc brake the brake pads squeeze the rotor instead of the wheel and the force is transmitted hydraulically instead through a cable here the important parts are the cable which is driven from the master cylinder to the caliper because this is important component if there will be any leakage the fluid will leak from that part and the actuation will be low now comparison between disc brake and drum brake in modern cars the disc brakes on a front wheels and drum brakes on the rear wheels some wheels have a disc brakes on a all four wheels also to increase the safety modern vehicles use the brake systems as a broken into the two circuits that is mechanical braking system and hydraulic braking system in case of the fluid leak if one circuit fails the second circuit will balance that action emergency brake system is also installed in this kind of cases this kind of system is known as a emergency braking system thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe to ikeda